tell me a story about a challenge that either an individual or the school faced and after in in the aftermath they were the, maybe the school was better or that person was better for having met that challenge oh we had a we had a we had an extremely serious challenge this year just had an a really unfortunate fortunate incident where um where decisions were made that were just not not acceptable for the school and had to had to go through a really difficult process of you know whether or not the school member could stay with us mm, or if yeah, they yeah. were the right person to be there mm. and had to had to watch and this is this is kind of goes right back into that storytelling of watching people that you might not think are connected get really connected mm. where and it, and it it was shocking how a really you know just it was it was just not fun like mm. it was decisions that you could empathize with that also mm. were not acceptable mm -hmm. uh, it is we, you know i can't go into too much more detail than that mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. the whole school had to then deal with mm -hmm. and yeah. and it was sad and it was like trying to figure out exactly what happened mm. and to watch once again that just community of everyone all of a sudden the people that you didn't think cared mm. uh, you know and you know that everyone does at a certain level but some people's idea of what they want to do to learn is i want to just do my thing and right. i want to do my thing and not engage with all the other stuff Mm -hmm. And that's fine because eventually they find the moment where they do, or they find what they want, which is more important than if they engage with everyone else, did they mm -hmm. find what they needed? But then we have this, this m week of, you know, usually it's only one time a week that every member of the school has to be in a meeting. Mm -hmm. And that's mostly for just general announcements. And then if there is, motions that we need to vote on you get the choice of whether or not you even want to stay for that mm -hmm. but this was a week of everyone has to be here every day this week while we talk about this and decide you know what is our path forward you know mm. is it you know do we let people go do we believe in you know do, do we we obviously believe in the idea of okay we learn and we grow mm -hmm. but then is this something that we can continue, mm. you know, and just watching not only everyone engage in that and come to what they thought the decision was, mm -hmm. but watching the, watching the respect of mm. the people who are week in and week out every time they are the people that actually stay and vote and talk about everything watching them listen to every word that the people who never do that are saying mm. respect it <clears throat> talk through it together come mm -hmm. to a i be, you know almost i believe it was almost a um 100 vote on our decision like mm -hmm. because enough conversation happened that it wasn't and it was definitely not 100 when we all started talking mm, you know yeah, yeah. Um, and and then coming out of that it's like okay like how how much of this is going to just be on shoulders and like mm. what is going to be the i guess psychological feeling of the, the room and of the school and because everyone really took the time to engage and care about what is the choice we're going to make we walked in within two days there was a complete different air of light in the room. Mm. Like there was a different energy to our school mm -hmm. because everyone had, had worked together and had built, uh, had really made a tough situation into, okay, we, we as a community have, 
have come together and mm. all of a sudden you didn't even realize that there were some you know you didn't it, it's one of those things where sometimes you don't even realize there's any sort of friction in the air mm. and then when you come together and you kind of finally talk about it you're like oh my god everything feels so much better now because mm. we just went through this and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think that just really it cemented into me what the idea of having a truly you know uh, i guess democratic process mm -hmm. was of 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 just watching people listen to each other and then the thing for me as as a staff member who was very invested in that conversation too but then also getting to you know you get to watch a little bit with the perspective of watching people grow mm -hmm. and living through it mm -hmm. was just watching the just that that it wasn't a weight on the shoulder it was actually like oh and now we've been lifted up into mm. a completely different area of of just positivity because mm. everyone came together for it mm -hmm. i know there were not a lot of specifics there but it's just the yeah. overwhelming <laughs> thing that is jumping out to me so so to if i can probe a little bit to understand it so is it something that arose within sort of restoration committee and then moved to an all school meeting or was it something that kind of uh, um it was it was something that it was something that was that was unforeseen and just actions that happened out like not even during school hours but in oh, wow. okay. school okay um, okay and and it and it you know, at the at the end of the day i can say it came to our school had had built a space that was safe enough that people thought this is where I can go when it wasn't the time to be, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of, Oh, this is where I'm safe. So they'll fix everything. And, mm -hmm. and, and it wasn't, you mm -hmm. know, it wasn't the mm -hmm. right choice. Right. Right. So, but yeah, it was, it was something that just came out of the blue and was mm. something that was like, okay, this is, this is bigger than a restoration committee. This is a full uh, school yeah. involvement. Yeah. 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 And that, that's, I think what I was wanting to make sure I was clear on is that, is that there are times when you have to kind of put everything else on hold and deal with something that has come up in, in the world. Um, right. And it can look many different ways. It might just be your community dealing with its own, effectively internal even if it didn't happen at the school you have to deal with it as a school right. or it could be world events you know that that happens too um yeah yeah but it's really important to note that your community is operating in a way that that demonstrates that there there's nothing sacred about whatever is on the schedule for today in a sense mm -hmm. you know it's like like there are things that you just have to like Put everything on hold and deal with, and and I and I think that's that's something that some schools need to some more mainstream schools should consider the possibility that there are things that should stop the entire school community and and deal with, and that there should be you know th that's okay <laughs> that is in itself a valuable thing even when you get it wrong. So I, I think of an example of. I, I volunteered at the village free school for for um, well for many years, but but in one year in particular, I was there on a daily basis. Uh, I was covering someone's maternity leave for a semester, and then and then ended up teaching a psychology class for the whole year. But um, but I remember this one nine or ten year old boy who just couldn't find something, and so st you know called an all school meeting, you know stop everything uh, to say his thing was stolen. And literally, he's, as he's making his case, someone goes, oh, you mean this? <laughs> you know, and picks it up <laughs> off the ground or something, you know. And, and of course, he was, you know, just phenomenally embarrassed. And, and you know, it was, it was like, you know, wasting everybody's time. But that in itself, even doing it wrong, one, there was a lot of people who were there to like, oh, yeah, sorry. You know, it, it, there was sympathy for his, there were people who were annoyed, but, <laughs> but, yeah. but it's like, you know. He's young. He's you know it's it's okay to make that mistake, um, right. 
and it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't you know terribly impactful it was just like everyone was interrupted for the day and then they went back to their thing but that's exactly the kind of thing that that a, a, a properly supportive community can flow with even somebody making a mistake that feels big in that moment yeah and and that and then, the, oh i'm sorry and then and then come out on the other side and be oh okay you know uh to a little bit less of a like wow this huge thing like this is the agentic schools vodcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills what makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.